everyone, it's Shani Shafai back with another video. First of all, Happy New Year's, guys. I hope y'all brought in the new year. Amazing. And sorry if my voice sounds a little weird, but um, yeah, I'm a little bit under the weather. You need to get him to a doctor. Oh, nonsense. I don't believe in doctors. Besides, I have work to do. Come on, Pop. You can't work when you're sick. Of course I can. I haven't missed a day in this down since the I so I'm going to be, you know, drinking water every now and then. Okay, so I'm here to talk about what everyone is talking about around this time of the year, which is goal setting and actually achieving those goals. If you guys haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Welcome back. Hey to my subscribers. If you new, what's up? If you're old, hey boo. I want to do it a little bit differently. I actually want to plan out my goals right now right here with you guys I have my book so everyone can get a notepad get a sheet of paper get a pen because we're gonna work through this and we're gonna be successful together so the first thing I had to do was really sit down in my room and get rid of all of my social media influences you know my laptop my phone just put all of that aside and really think about what was important to me and what I needed to focus on in 2018 and what I needed to improve on in the past, my goals were centered around like, you know, the general topics. Oh, I want to be healthy. I want to work out more. I want to get all A's. In the ending of 2016, going into 2017, that was my last semester of college. So I just said, okay, I want to get all A's. This <laughs> I just want to get all A's this semester and got it back. And, you know, I didn't really create a plan. I didn't create a regimen that I could stick to. So I kind of set myself up to fail before I even started, but I didn't even realize that I was doing that at the time. But you know, I'm trying to change that this year, so that's why I'm making this plan. So I had to think about why, what's my why that I'm going to attach to my goals? Why are these goals so important for me to make them right now, this year? And I really had to figure out the meaning behind them because once you attach an importance and once you figure out the why of your goals, then it makes it a lot easier to stay focused. And if you feel yourself start to slack on those goals, you can automatically remind yourself of its importance and why you need to, you know, get on the right track again. Now, once I figured out what was truly important to me, I had to figure out what do I need to improve on and not just what I want to improve on. And my needs are always going to stick with me the most than my wants. Alright, so let's plan out some of these goals together. You know, some of our goals may align, so while I'm planning this out, you know, you can write some stuff down that's similar to mine. You can think about how it would apply for you and write your things down. And make sure, you know, if you feel comfortable enough to put some of those things down in the comment box so we can just have that conversation and talk about them and stuff like that. My first goal is to stop eating meat. Now, Last year, I made a goal to eat healthier, but I knew that just wasn't enough because I was not able to do that. So right now, I know I have to make a plan, a strategic plan, okay? My immune system is like so bad, and I think it's because I eat really bad. So I'm just gonna try to change my diet around, be healthier, because I'm tired of being sick, y'all. I feel like I'm sick so much. So I'm gonna stop eating red meat. So I need to figure out what I can eat, all right? I know like the salads and fruits and stuff like that. Um, I wanna eat rice, but I wanna change that and I wanna eat brown rice because I know brown rice is healthier. So I need to create those staples into my diet so those will be my go-to foods and I won't get tempted to go back to red meat. I also have to try to find out what healthier restaurants are in my area because I know there has to be some, you know, good places to eat that will align with my diet. I need to find a place that just has fresh natural food. So my second goal is to work out consistently. In order for me to work out consistently and actually stick to my goal of working out consistently, I feel like I need to create a schedule because if I'm saying, okay, I'm gonna work out three times a week, well, what days am I gonna wake up and say, I'm ready to work out? Never. <laughs> so let me just pick it down. I feel like 6 p.m. would be a pretty good time for me to work out every day. 
Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, I'm going to work out at 6 p.m. Sometimes I know I can get a little discouraged when I'm at home and I'm trying to do workouts because I don't really know what to do, so I feel a little awkward and then I'm just like, alright, forget it. But this time I researched some Instagram accounts that I could kind of, you know, look for and find like fitness motivation videos. And I found this very, very, very good account. It's um at fitness workout vids. I'm gonna put it right here. So if you just scroll down their Instagram, you can see that they have like a bunch of um, video tutorials, kind of like, you know, workout little videos, and you can follow those, and those are like very, very quick videos that you can do at home. So my third goal is to post three YouTube videos every week. All right, so I need to figure out what days would be the best for me to, you know, put out those videos. I say Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. All right, so... In order for me to keep myself accountable, I'm going to make a little calendar of just, you know, Sunday, Wednesdays, and Friday. I have to write in a topic. I'm basically going to plan all of my videos ahead of time. And then, if you know, if something happens in the news and, you know, it's relating to my brand and what I talk about already, of course, I'm going to fit that into like one of those days. But regardless, I'm still going to have my calendar. Just keep myself accountable for those videos that I want to put out. So y'all, keep me accountable, okay? Three videos every week, Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. Number four, I want to wake up earlier. Lord knows this is a hard goal for me, all right? It's so hard. I don't know why it's so hard, but I just be so tired. What do I be tired from? Lord Jesus. Oh, gosh. Rich people, successful people, they wake up really early, like 6 in the morning, get their day started. So I need to, you know, work my way up to that point. So let me just claim it, 9 a.m., <laughs> 9 a.m. every morning. And I feel like once you wake up early, you can allow yourself that time to really get your thoughts together. And you know, I could maybe fit in some yoga, some meditation. Just give myself time to get ready for the day and I feel like, you know, I'll have a fresh start, you know, not just waking up, having to rush, having to go somewhere. If I wake up earlier, then I can get my life together, I can plan out the day, and I feel like I'll just have a better day. My fifth goal is to read one book per month. Reading one book per month, that's going to be um, kind of different for me because, you know, I like to read before, but I'm really trying to get into reading a lot more consistently and trying to read books faster. By the end of that month, I better be done with that book. I'm treating these like assignments, okay? I have a few books that I'm already interested in, so I think for January, I'm going to read um, this book called You're a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life by Jen Sincero. I don't even know if I'm saying her last name right. I think it's Sincero, but listen, this sounds like what I need to do. I need to stop doubting my greatness, okay? And start living an awesome life. So hopefully that book will get me there. The next book that I want to read is called The Untethered Soul by Michael A. Singer. I don't know if you guys watch Oprah's Super Soul Sundays, but I was listening to her podcast. She was basically doing an interview with Michael and I'm calling this man Michael like I know him, Michael A. Singer. And when I was listening to the podcast and I was listening to their conversations, I was like, okay, you know, maybe this might be a really good book for me to read. So I think that's definitely going to be my read for February. Um, I don't know. The rest of the months, I haven't really planned those out yet. You know, everyone, if you have any good book suggestions that I should read, just drop them below in my comment section so I can add them to my list. Thank y'all. So my sixth goal is to get closer with God and build a stronger spiritual connection. So, oh, wow. Um, this is actually a lot to unpack. Spirituality is a very, very heavy subject, but what I want to do right now to plan and make sure that I'm progressively moving towards that goal, I want to create more of a relationship with him. I want to have real conversations, you know? I only know my deepest, darkest secrets, my fears, and if I say them out loud and I'm talking to God, I feel like it would be a lot more easier to connect with my spirituality and I'll be able to hopefully identify the signs that he sends me for me 
Spirituality means to be aligned and by being aligned I mean knowing that I have control over some things and I don't have control over other things but the things that I do have control over I won't let my ego or you know my attitude my temper basically control me to the point where I'm making ill decisions based on emotion that's what I want to get to ultimately just being able to understand myself better and make better decisions all right now number seven is to get a job that I enjoy so um, recently you know I'm on a job search and at first I was just applying to like job after job after job after job just because I qualified but if I really want to get a job that I enjoy I have to stop applying to so many just random jobs and find jobs that really meet my not expectations but my qualifications as far as you know the industry that it's in now my eighth goal is to travel so um I need to figure out first of all where do I want to travel and when do I want to travel I definitely want to travel in um, the middle of the year so mid year and I want to travel again at the end of the year the purpose of my mid year kind of like you know getaway is to basically um, refresh myself and to think about my goals figure out how far I've come if I'm on the right track and if not then I need to reevaluate my plans get re-inspired to make sure that I am successfully on track to finish and successfully achieve those goals I have New York in for the end of the year and Atlanta for the early part of the year so my budget for my New York trip is going to be about a thousand dollars I went to New York before but it was only for like a hot second okay I was up there for a weekend for fashion week and I was in a show went there did the show and came back but I want to be up there for longer this time and I spent about $400 on that trip, so I'm really going to try to save up $1,000 so I can stay longer. And my goal is to be in a lot more shows. Pray. Pray for me. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys for listening to me this long. This is just the beginning of planning out our goals and planning our success for 2018. So, you know, of course, throughout the year and throughout the next couple of weeks, actually, I'm going to be going back, reevaluating my goals. I want to, you know, have this kind of accountability partner relationship. So I want you guys to leave your goals so I can keep you guys accountable and you can keep me accountable. Thank you all so much. I love you guys so much. We're here, 2018. Be blessed, everyone. Have an amazing week. Love you all. Bye.